Hey creative friends, welcome to my channel. And in this video, I'm going to do a, a crafty thing that I've been wanting to do for a while. And I know I've mentioned it a couple times, like in my Saturday Happenings videos, but this is super cool. It is, I've seen these several places, but I'm going to show you how to make mine. So this is a hanger. It's just a good thing uh, because it has a hidey pocket in it. See there, there's a pocket. So you could take this like when you go camping or you go like in your, uh, in your camper, I like this because it kind of helps keep things like together that go together. Like you could put a belt in here that goes with like a sweater because I tend to lose those kinds of things. But you can also use this if you go on vacation, put it in your uh, closet, like at a hotel or like if you're a lot of times places will come with a safe, but sometimes they don't. And this is just a cool way of hiding things, even in your own closet. Like if you go away and you've got some things you don't want laying out, but you don't want to take them with you. And maybe there's not another place that you can hide it. <laughs> this is a good thing because then you can put a coat on, put them in coat, uh, coat closet or put them in your closet with maybe a shirt over it. And no one would know you could hide stuff in here, but I also like it. I'm trying, I think what I'm also going to do is come up with a version that maybe has pocket, uh, like it can come up like that. And there's pockets on the outside so that you could put maybe for traveling, put an outfit with the necklace and earrings and things that go with it. So it doesn't always just have to be like a safety thing. So I've got all the fabric cut for the project that I'm going to make for you. So let's get started. Okay, so I've got some fabric, and I just love this little sewing fabric. I think it's super cute. But anyway, you know, I thought of another thing that's really good for using that hanger. In the wintertime, I like to wear scarves, like light scarves and stuff. And so when I have an outfit, and if I'm traveling, that'd be kind of cool to fold the scarf up and put in there. I don't know, it's just a thought. So what I need here is a hanger, and I like these thin ones. I don't like the, the round, fat ones. It's just because these are easier to get in and out of the, the little... Um, part the little the little hanger thing and then what I'm gonna do is you're gonna have the hanger and there's gonna be a zipper and you'll want to decide how long do you want your pocket well I want my pocket probably about that long this is um, this is about 10 inches deep the pocket is so it would need to be a piece of fabric about 20 inches long so I have a piece of fabric about 20 inches long and not as long. I've got it. Oh, so there's about two and a half inches of the hanger on either side of the pocket. So that makes this 10, about 10 and a half inches wide. And so my pocket will be that big close. And it's okay if I use the selvage because no one's going to see this. So here's the other thing about that is what's going to happen is we're going to make, it's kind of, it's kind of like a little pocket thing. And, and basically this is going to be made on this side of the pocket. So, and then when it folds up, you see, you'll be able inside to see the other fabric. You'll see the right side of the other fabric. I'll show you what I'm talking about. That probably sounds real confusing, but in order to do it right, I have this little thing to help me remember that when I put this, when I make this, and I'll show you what I'm talking about, I have this where it's uh, right side to right side so that I can stitch around. That way I will be able to shove it through there and iron it. And in there, you will be able to see, see that would, like you'll see the, uh, the, in, the fabric inside. It won't be the wrong side fabric. So I'll show you what I'm talking about with that. But anyway, I have that. So a zipper, a hanger, and a nice big piece of fabric. Now this fabric, I'm going to turn right sides in. And then there isn't officially a pattern because hangers are all different. Okay, so I'm going to fold this in half, give it a little press up here so the top of it is square. So let me press this down and then I'll come right back. Okay, I've got that pressed nice. And so what I'm going to do is lay the hanger on it. Now, I want to make sure that there's about a quarter of an inch around the hanger, so I will trace the hanger first to kind of just line it up, and I'm eyeballing things, and I usually will take the top to where the hook, see how the hanger comes up, and then it kind of goes bloop, and it right to, I'll take it to about there, um, because I want there to be enough up here so then when it folds inside, um, 
there's no raw edges, so I'll show you what I'm talking about. Maybe I should trace it this way for you. If you can see, there you go. Okay, so that's coming right up there. And then I can put my pocket on there too, and I can see that that pocket is going to have plenty of room down here. It's not, it's not going to run out, see? It's going to have enough space down there. So I'm going to trace this. I'm going to have to turn this to myself so I can do it right, but you see. So I normally also would not use a Sharpie marker, but I'm going to do that in hopes that you guys can see it a little bit better. Okay, there. I readjusted it so you have a little bit better view. So now, and there's no pattern, like I said, because all hangers are all different. So I'm just going to kind of take this marker and go along and come right off the edge of that hanger. See? Okay, so now straight down. So now I've kind of got that outline. I don't know how well you can see it. Maybe I should do it with black. Let me see. Hold on. All right, I kind of went around that in black. I don't know if you can see that so well, but do you see the sides of it? Now what I'm going to do is I want to go all the way to the bottom of the hanger. And I know, you know, you could just take your hanger and lay it right there and give yourself a good straight line, which I think I might as well go ahead and do that. So I'm going to run that line all the way to the bottom. And I will do the same over here and run this line all the way to the bottom. That's going to give me a nice straight line. But in order to give it the seam allowance so that it'll fit over the hanger, now I'm going to take my little quarter inch ruler and I'm going to put in there, uh, I'll go ahead and do a half an inch. That way I've got a little bit of extra seam. So I'm going to just come up here and I'm going to mark about a half an inch all the way around before I cut it because I want to make sure that I've got this a good seam allowance on there. So let me go ahead and go all the way around this and then I will bring you back as soon as I have traced the half an inch seam allowance all the way around. And you could do a quarter of an inch, that's fine. I just think this is easier if I wanted to edge it or if you want to have a serger and you want to serge it, you can do that too. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this and then we'll be right back. All right, I've got the line. I'll show you what I was talking about in case you in case you can't really see it. You can see how I've got the line, but then I've got the little uh, the little extra line there for my seam allowance. So now I am just going to cut it out right along the seam allowance. And this is a great way to use up remnants of uh, fabric that you have from other projects or sewing. And it does not matter what the fabric is. Like you could do this out of a polyester. You could do this out of your 100% cottons. Doesn't matter. So I'm just going to cut away up here. And then it's so simple. We're going to take whatever which one you want the front to be. I'm going to get this a little bit extra up there. Because I want this to fold in and give it a little bit of... Uh, you know, this is going to fold in when it goes inside, and I don't want the little short thing so that there's a raw edge. I'll show you what I'm talking about when I get to that point. But you always want to make a little, kind of a, I call it like a tab. It's almost like a tab up there. Okay, let me get around the rest of this. And it's probably not exciting watching me cut, but it'll just take a second. All right, good enough. Perfect. See, that is, a lot of people throw that away, but for me, there's like so much potential there. So I have my little bowl. I'll put my, my potential fabric bowl. All right. Now, there is the hanger thing. The main body is cut and ready to go. Oops. I went right up here, so I'm going to cut these right here. Got to have two sides. There we go. Okay. So we're going to call this the front. And now, what I'm going to do is lay the hanger on there. So the hanger is going to go up there, and I think what I'll do is I will want, let me, I'll show you my other one, we'll kind of, you just figure out where you want your, uh, your zipper. So, I'm going to put that up there, and the zipper tends to go right above, you can feel the hanger's hard right here, it's going to go right above that a little bit. So, I'm going to kind of get my zipper. And I'm going to lay it like about right here is probably where it's going to go. Okay? So I'm going to move my hanger now. 
So I want to do here, we're going to now create this little pocket. And it's pretty simple to do, um, actually. What you do is you're going to basically lay the, the pocket fabric face down. This is what we're going to do right here. You lay the pocket fabric face down, and then I'm just going to kind of pin it there. That's all you have to do, pin that there. So I know that's kind of where I want my uh, my zipper, okay? Now I'm going to take a ruler, and I'm going to rule right down where the zipper teeth, where I want them to be. I'll do this with my blue pen. Hopefully you can see that better. So I'm going to I'm going to have my zipper be about that long, which is what is that? About 9 inches, okay? So I'm going to do this about 9 inches. So that's where the zipper teeth are laying. Okay, now we get rid of that zipper. So what we're going to do is we're going to stitch around, we're going to where the zipper teeth are, okay? See the zipper teeth pretend they're right there. I'm going to make a little line just a wee bit up from that, like, oh, where's my little thing? That's going to be about a quarter of an inch up from there. I'm going to make a little line, and I'm going to go along the whole thing, measuring it about there. Okay, that's actually going to be where we're going to stitch, is on this little dotted line. And we're going to do this on the top and bottom. And this is going to make the opening that we will then stitch the zipper on. So I'm going to mark it here. I'm going to come along here. Okay, this is going to be simple. And because this is just, you know, this isn't like a super professional thing, um, easy to do. So let me see if you can see that. And then we're going to come along here and go there and go there. Okay. So do you see where we're going to stitch? I'm going to stitch. This is where the zipper teeth are going to go. So I'm going to stitch along there, and then we're going to cut it, and I'll show you how to do that. So let me take it over and stitch along here. Basically, I'm making a long rectangle. Okay, I'm going to get this under my presser foot. And now we're going to cut this, so you don't have to leave an opening to turn it like you might think you would, but you're not going to. So let's stitch away. Make sure that you backstitch when you start, and I will also backstitch up and down on that uh, on that end. Actually, I adjusted my machine so that it goes slower. I want it to go fast. There we go. Take your needles out. You don't want to break a break your needle, your machine needle. That's so sad. I've done that many times. Get to the corner, leave your needle in, spin it around. I'm going to do the edge of this thing back and forth a couple of times. One more, there we go. And now, and so it's just a long rectangle, which is fine. I'm going to get this, I'll do the whole thing. And then I'll bring you over and show you how we cut this open. And it's so genius. It's a great way to make a pocket opening on something when you're making a bag or whatever. I love making uh, these kind of zipper openings. They're the best. Okay. I'm going to go around and do this one back and forth. Alright, now I'm going to take you over and show you how to cut it open. All right, now we're going to do these little, uh, it's like a little little angled lines on there. And I am going to measure them because I want to make sure they're even on both ends. So I'm just going to come in on that line, what would be the zipper teeth. And I'm going to come in about a half an inch. Oh, why am I using that? Let me use the other side of that. So we'll come in. There we go. We're going to come in like to there. That's a good one. We'll go right down to the corner where it meets, and I'm going to come back here, kind of the same length. 
I kind of am measuring just there we go so that's gonna go there and we'll go back over there okay so now I've got these lines on there and now I could use my my little tiny scissors in there and you want to cut through both of them both layers of fabric I think I've got that okay and you can do that if you just want to fold this fold it even so you can feel you don't want to cut it crooked you just cut through there there you go and now you're going to go all the way to the end and see that little uh that little corner piece you're going to cut right up to the corners on that super close just don't cut your stitching and then come along there and then we're going to go there and there now the magic happens so here you have your opening now we're going to shove all of this through that opening and you've now made a really lovely pocket with a nice edging on it i'm just going to fold this over fold that and see how this is gonna work and these little corners uh the way they fold back you want to give them a little tug kind of tug them so they lay flat because we're going to iron this in just a second too and so this is so simple we got to get the iron in the zipper in there this is the hardest part of the whole thing okay i'm going to press this down and you know what i saw a thing that says if you press your seam first just as the seam is it will lay open oh that's true it lays open a lot nicer okay so we're going to just do that so now i'm going to come back and i'm going to press this all down really nice and crisp fold these edges under give them a tug so they've got a nice corner and then i'll be right back all right i've given this a good press you can see how it's folded back nicely and it takes a little bit of work to get the corners and to get it all nice and nice and done there so now i'm gonna turn it over and you can see this very good opening this is where the zipper is going to be okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to lay the zipper in there and just kind of line it up where I want it and then I'm going to pin that I've got my uh, zipper foot on my machine now so I just kind of want to even that up where it's good and I'm going to start pinning that here on there so the teeth are kind of centered and you could make this little opening narrower if you want to do an invisible zipper you can adjust it and I probably should have made it narrower but I didn't but what are you gonna do okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pin on both of these sides and then I'll show you when I get that all pinned I'll come back all right now I've got the zipper pinned in you can see from the back there it is so I'm gonna take it over the machine I've got my presser foot and because this doesn't go right up to the teeth uh, oh by the way yeah I forgot you want to take your little zipper end and bring it I like to bring it about to there. Once I get past that, I'll move it forward. Uh, but let me pin that in right there. Uh, my teeth, I, I, my zipper pocket opening, I guess you'd call it, is a little bit big. So I'm not going to have to set my presser foot or my uh, zipper foot so that it's right up here. I can put the needle, usually I would have it, the needle go right along next to the teeth but since I have this extra space I'm just gonna set it so that it comes along the fabric there's just gonna be this little bit of extra zipper in there but let me get this pinned and then I'll take it over the machine and show you putting this in all right I don't know if you can see uh, let me let me see if I can take you down here and show you a little bit but what I've done is I've put the presser foot right up next to the teeth and then hang on let me see if I can set it up so that you can see it better okay I put the presser foot right up next to the teeth and then I've set the needle over this far so it'll catch the fabric because I have too wide of an area for my zipper normally I would like this to be right up next to the teeth but it's not it just didn't work out that way so let me go ahead and stitch this now all right now I'm gonna get started here I'm gonna give it a little reverse 
just to get that in there. I'm going to take my needles out as I go. And I just want to make sure that I'm catching the fabric on the zipper pull. And now what I'm going to do is slide this forward so that I can put the needle in, lift up the presser foot, and get this little guy past there. Okay. Now, that's how you do that. And you know what would be a really good thing if you make these for, like, someone going off to college? Ooh, that's slipping in there. That's all right. Uh, someone going off to college, this would be a terrific thing for someone to have in their dorm room. I just think dorms can sometimes be a place you want a little bit extra security. You know. Okay. Now what we're going to do is get to the edge. This is not perfect by any means, but it is what it is here. Okay, not too bad. Now I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to go back and forth across this end a couple of times. Then I'm going to come down here. Uh, let me go back a stitch there. And I'm going to turn it, and we're going to come right down this end, and then I'm going to do the other end of that. So I'll be right back as soon as I'm done with this. Okay, now I've gotten to this end again, so I'm going to leave my needle in. I'm going to pull up my presser foot, and I'm going to pull that zipper back the zipper pull because it will be too bulky and then I'm going to go all the way down to the end and turn and go up securely across the other end all right there now I've got this part done and my zippers in see there it's not perfectly even but I'm going to live with it and now what I want to do is go ahead and trim off those ends of the zipper because now comes the super easy part there we go. Now we're just going to take this and we're going to stitch it. This is the pocket. So we folded folded the pocket all the way up. Okay, I want to I want to have that open a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to fold this up and then what I'm going to do is go ahead. I'm going to give this a press to kind of edge out those uh, zipper edges. Give it a little press across the front. Then I'm just going to lay this up here and I'll show you. I'm just going to stitch along this. It's fine. Um, you can, If you don't want to stitch across here, you can just go up and over and leave this uh, folded or you can stitch across it. So let me give it a good ironing and then I'll come back and we will, iron, we will uh, sew this up together. All right, I gave the front a press, and then I opened the zipper a little bit, but see how when you look in there, you're going to see the inside of the other fabric? That's why I make this to remind myself how to do it every time, because I can, I don't know why, but I always want to put it on wrong side to right side. I don't know why. Anyway, so there's that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go stitch along here straight down to the fabric, I probably should use black string or black thread so you can't see it on here, but that's fine. Um, yeah, I'm going to change my... No, it's got the white stitching there. I'm okay. Okay, so I'm going to start here, and I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, i got to change my presser foot. Put my other one on. And then I'm going to line this up, and I'm going to get to stitching. And I'm just going to use a quarter of an inch or the outside of my presser foot for this... And you see how I lined it up. I got my presser foot there. And we're going to give it a good back stitch at the bottom. And you don't have to stitch across the bottom. I don't do that necessarily uh, because it's already folded. So this is just going to be all the way up the side, across the top, and down the other side. So let me finish this, and then I'll come back to you, and we'll do the next step. I have finished my little stitching now. So the pocket is sewed in, and this is the front of your hanger. So see, if you unzip this, you've got that nice pocket there. So now, so simple, all we're going to do is sew the front to the back, right sides together, and then we're nearly done. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and pin this around the sides, and then that's all it is, is right sides together, except we're going to stitch... All the way around and we're gonna leave an opening in the bottom and make sure this all lines up so there we have it make sure that we've got the right because I knew I didn't think it was folded exactly right on the bottom so I might have to trim off a little bit yeah I'm gonna go ahead and trim that off and make it square and then we'll stitch all the way around so 
let me trim this off and get it pinned and then I will show you how I'm going to stitch because I have to leave this top opening here open so we're just going to stitch from like oh right here because that's going to fold down so we want to make sure uh, I think if I put this in here I should probably stitch maybe I'll make this a little bit narrower because we only want this to be tiny up here um, so it's actually tiny little cut. I'll show you what I'm going to cut this a little bit more and then I'll come back and show you how I altered that. Okay, I cut that big tab off. I don't know what I was thinking. I made that tab way too big. What I mean is you need to do about a quarter of an inch, a little tiny bit more than just coming over the top so that those can fold in. Um, so that's what I did there. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pin the sides because we're only going to go from the top edge down the side to the bottom edge and just leave a little bit here. So let me get this pinned and then I will show you. But I wanted to show you the change that I did there. All right, I've got it pinned all along the side. Uh, but I put two clips here to remind me to leave the top open where the hook comes out and the bottom so that I can put the hanger inside. So now I'm going to take it to the machine and I'm going to go from this clip all the way down the side to this clip and then the same on the other side. So I'll go do that and then I will come back. I've got the edges all along the sides done except this is open here and the bottom is open. So now we're gonna turn it right side out and then I'm gonna give it a good press. Then we'll put the hanger in. This is so simple. There we go. So I've got it folded right side out. Get that seam out there, the little corners popped out. There we go. That little corner popped out there. So basically, we're just about done. I'm going to give it a good press and then we'll fold this under. Um, you could do a little bit of the, um, you know, if you could get your sewing machine in there to go around the edge, you could do that. Or you could just use a little bit of the um, no sew, it, you know, the basically it's fabric glue. And then We'll get the hanger in, and I will, let me see, let me give it a pressing first. Let me give it a good pressing, and then I'll come back and we'll insert the hanger. As I'm ironing this along the edges to make sure that those seams are all the way out, I'm kind of rolling them between my fingers a little bit, and sometimes if you dampen your fingers, it helps with that. Uh, you just kind of roll them and then catch them with the iron. And that helps make a nice crisp seam. Now, some people may actually want to go around and do a little top stitching, which I don't think I'm going to do on this. But I will tell you what I did do is I noticed that the opening that I left at the top was too big. It needs to just be tiny. So I went back and I stitched up to there. It needs to be maybe only half an inch. Uh, for the end of the hanger to come through. And I had it much too wide. You would have seen the top of the hanger, which wouldn't have looked nice. Now, also on the bottom, because when we're on the corners, there's this open bit where we've got to put the hanger in. But I'm going to fold that under to match the seam and give that a good pressing because once we get the hanger in there, I will go back and stitch across the top of that. So I'm just going to kind of fold that in on itself, front and back, and give that a good pressing so that it's folded under and then it will look lovely when it's done. Okay, so let me get the rest of this hem uh, folded up and folded under so that it's got two, no raw edges here. So we're gonna do that. And then um, I also have a little bit of spray starch that I'm spraying on there just to have it hold it a little bit better. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those folded over and ironed so that they match up. There we go. That looks perfect. Oh, gotta get this string off here. There we are. So I'm thinking um, on the next one, I'm gonna probably do, I'm gonna try to invent one that probably I'm not inventing it. I'm sure it's somewhere out there because these are, you know, you can look these up if you don't like the way I showed you how to make them. Just look safety hanger up. And there's tons of videos from other people who may explain it a little bit better or have a little bit of better very video on it. That's fine too. We all, we all have different ways of learning. But anyway, um, I think what I want to do next time, instead of putting the pocket in, I think what I'm going to do is cut the two fronts. Then I'm going to cut a section that is just maybe, maybe this deep on there. And I'm going to put two, like front and back, 
so that then I can lay them down between these two face to face when I sew them together. So when I open the whole thing out, there would actually be three individual pockets here and I could put Velcro across those. So that would be a perfect place for like necklace, earrings, scarf, that kind of thing. So I'm going to do this video and then if I do that one, I'm going to put a hanger with pockets is what I'll call it. Something like that so that you can keep an eye out for that and maybe we'll have a whole nother kind of hanger. But these I think would make a great gift for someone who travels a lot or going off to school or whatever. So now, okay, now we're ready to put the hanger in. <laughs> now that I've done that, we're just gonna go up inside of here, watch your pocket. Sometimes if you don't make this big enough, you gotta bend your hanger, but this I made just right. So we're gonna get that up there, find the top of the hanger and put it through that there we are now i could stitch this closed if i wanted to but it's going to stay over there just fine so the hanger's in and now all we have to do is go stitch this look at that so exciting there is a hanger already made so i'm gonna go stitch the bottom closed and then we'll come back and take a look at it i'm just gonna pop the end in here and because i folded it over there you see how i folded it in and ironed it so perfect and i'm not going to do a full quarter of an inch uh, seam i want to make a nice a little narrow seam on there so let's get this going a little back stitch i think this is super cute one too um and you could do this with all kinds of fabrics like it's just so cool so i'm just going to kind of hold these together and we're going to whip along here make sure they match up a little bit That's going to seal this closed and it is going to be a perfect hanger. All right. That's it. All right, let's take a look at it. There it is. Hanger done. Check it out. It's nice. You can hang it in a closet, put a shirt over it. You could hide things in there. Perfect, and it's a good size pocket too. I mean, you could you could hire hide passports and wallets and all kinds of things in there. So this is your little hidey hanger. Now I'm going to try to develop one that's basically that with three or four pockets across the front, and I don't know that I want to put a little a zipper. Nah, um, I don't want to do that. But I might put Velcro across there. So I will see about making a video on that. But for now, here you have your Heidi Heidi pocket uh, hanger, and I think it's a great idea. So, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next